Hello everyone and I'm back with another YouTube video tutorial series and in this tutorial series we're gonna be learning about microcontrollers and specifically we're gonna be covering one microcontroller and that is gonna be PIC18F4520 there are several advantages of using that very microcontroller it being very advanced then let's say if it uh, 8051 microcontroller and a lot before that so certain features about PIC 18F4520 is first of all it is based on hardware architecture it, it has got 8-bit architecture and a lot of these things might not make sense to you right now but then just bear with me and as we move on we're gonna be seeing what exactly those things mean so what exactly are we going to be doing in this video tutorial series is that we're gonna be learning pick 18 f 4520 microcontroller right from the beginning right from the very basics we're gonna be seeing how to configure it how to use embedded C language to program it and we're gonna be seeing its simulations on another software known as Proteus so basically we're gonna be using two softwares here one is going to be MPLAB that is used to write the code of your microcontroller and that is used to configure whatever you in, the in this software you're gonna be doing whatever your microcontroller is going to be performing and to see how it performs we're going to be using another software that is known as Proteus and that software it is actually a simulation software so you can pretty much see whatever your code is doing yeah well without any further ado yeah one more thing this is going to be a tutorial series in which we're going to be seeing a lot of things which person who's willing to start with microcontrollers should be knowing well those things should be from the very first tutorial well pretty much the one after this we're gonna be seeing how to interface a switch a buzzer and an LED with your microcontroller and how to make them work but whatever parameters you want them to work in whatever conditions you want them to work and then after that let's see we're gonna be seeing how to interface an LCD display to a microcontroller and then we're gonna be seeing how to interface a keyboard to a microcontroller and then after that oh I mean keypad my bad and then after that after that we're going to be seeing how to interface several sensors in uh, with your microcontroller see in your microcontroller in pick 18 f4520 there is an adc inbuilt adc which is 10 bit 13 channel adc we're going to be learning a lot more about adc once we come there and after that we're gonna be and yeah ADC it is quite necessary when you want to interface a sensor with your microcontroller and after that we're gonna be learning how to interface a motor a DC motor we're gonna be using how to interface a DC motor with your PIC 18 f 4520 and what else are we gonna be seeing yeah we're gonna be seeing how to do serial communication how to use your pick 18 f4520 for serial communication there is a block w within your microcontroller that helps you use the serial communication it helps you communicate serially with your computer and then what else are we going to be learning yeah we're gonna be learning about interrupts and we're gonna be learning what exactly interrupts are when we get to that so well that being said without further ado I think we should be beginning so with the very first topic in our heads I think we're gonna be starting with 
first of all what these two softwares are and then how to use them and then well after right after that we'll begin with our interfacing switch buzzer and LED so just keep watching right from the next very next video we're gonna be starting how to do everything alright this is me signing up see you in the next video guys